Thanks for joining us for Fox 40 News at 5. I'm Nikki Lorenzo. And I'm Eric Harriman. The plan is called Care Court, and it will rely heavily on county justice systems in order to order the treatments. Fox 40 Capital reporter Ashley Zavala joining us live to explain how many people could be impacted and how soon it'll come into play. Ashley. Eric and Nikki Newsom's administration making it clear this is separate from conservatorship or any other programs that aim to help those with mental illness. They say those aren't working, but there are still many details to work out and several hurdles to clear before this plan becomes reality. In an effort to get those living with severe mental illness off the streets and out of jail, Governor Gavin Newsom's administration Thursday proposed Care Court. We need to treat brain health early before we punish it later. The proposal would require counties create a mental health branch in civil court and issue court ordered treatment to those suffering with psychosis. A family member, friend, or first responder can refer a person to Care Court. An evaluation would follow, and then if the person is found eligible, the judge would set rules and oversight for treatment. Those eligible would be required to take the treatment. If they're accused of a crime and don't take the treatment, they could face criminal charges. If they don't have pending charges, they could be held in psychiatric facilities against their will or have the court appoint someone to make health decisions for them, also known as a conservatorship. Counties that don't provide the treatment could also face consequences. Democratic mayors like San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria and Oakland Mayor Libby Schaff praised the plan. It's time that our golden state stops walking by our greatest moral shame and faces it head on with clarity and compassion. The administration said between 7,000 to 12,000 people could be eligible. Officials could not estimate the cost of the program Thursday, saying those details are still being worked out. Last year, the legislature approved $12 billion for homeless and housing services. Newsom is requesting another $2 billion this year for mental health housing. He says if approved of that $14 billion total, $3 billion would fund 33,000 new beds across the state. Local behavioral health officials say housing will be key. We look forward to learning more about the details, and, and I'm sure there'll be more discussion as that gets fleshed out. But I'd say at a high level, what we know through the work we currently do is that Access to housing is really the most critical piece of the picture. Newsom's team says funds would also help boost the workforce required to carry out care court. The clinicians tell me we don't have enough housing. The housing folks tell us we don't have enough clinical care. We're going to hold ourselves accountable to deliver all of that together in a comprehensive package. This proposal will require legislative approval and the governor would like lawmakers to move quickly, requesting it be part of this year's state budget. So if it does pass, it could be put into place by the end of this year. Reporting live at the state capitol, Ashley Zavala, Fox 40 News.